Hi everyone, so today I'm doing something a little bit different and I'm joined with Victoria from Pins, Petals and Powder. Her YouTube channel you will find in the description box below. And today we're going to make a Christmas wreath, aren't we? Yes. And it smells so, so good. So what kind of design are we going for today? A um, little bit traditional with the pine cones and orange slices and then some just a little... Good. A little bit of bling, a little bit of sparkle with some baubles and perfect. And you can customise this to anything you want. So if you wanted to have something red and gold, very traditional and sparkly, then you can just use anything, can't you? If you didn't want to have the citrus or yeah, the, absolutely, anything goes. The, um, cinnamon sticks. We've gone for things that really smell good. So when you're hanging them up, it just gives a lot of fragrance to the room. It's yeah. just so Christmassy. Um, so what do we start with first then? Okay, we start with your wreath ring. Right. So that's ring your wire base and your roll of wire. Yes. All right, so we're just going to create our base. Okay. Um, so you need to unravel that and fix it onto your wreath ring. Okay. So just twist it around, make sure it's nice and secure. Just around one side, one yep. of the inner rings. Is that okay? around there, yeah. Just give it a good tug, make sure it's nice and tight. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere. Cool. Excellent. Right, so we're going to start with our moss. So if you just grab a bundle of it and remove any like roots or any little pine cones and things that might be hiding in it. Does that look okay? There's nothing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you've got a good handful there, you've got your wire. Yeah, so it needs to have some tension on it. Definitely, yeah. yeah. All right, just pop it over the top and underneath oh. and give it a good tug. Right. <laughs> All right, does that feel good and secure? Yes. Yeah, so just get yourself some more moss. Again, a nice handful. Oh. Not enough there. Uh... So we're squashing it, compressing it together. What are you? Right. I don't think I've been doing that enough. And then join in that. Yep. Straight over. And then you could go around again. So Victoria said that the moss is also good for your hands. So this is a bit of a beauty treatment as well as um, Christmas decoration. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just have a feel. Is that all? Yep. So we're just aiming to make it nice and compact and even all the way around. Right. So we're just more repeating. I'm not as neat as you though. Right. When you get it all the way around. Yep. To the other side. I think this. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go around once more with the wire just to make sure that everything is nice and compact okay. and you've got a good solid base. So if you were to buy one of these in the shop how much would it cost? Something like this. I know they're, um, they're different depending on what you use but on average. Yeah they, they vary in price so for something that's fresh made from scratch with moss I would say you'd be paying anything from um, £18 plus. Wow. Um, they come in um, in various sizes so you can get this is perfect size for an average front door but you can go really huge <laughs> go make a real a real statement on a statement wall indoors or yeah and what Victoria was saying is if you don't have room in your house for a Christmas tree then something like this is perfect because you're still getting that fresh kind of Christmassy smell but it's not taking up a lot of space because you can put it above your fireplace on the wall, anywhere yeah. really. Yeah. You get the benefit of those Christmas smells and everything you would get from a Christmas tree. Yeah, because we are using a little bit of Christmas tree here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think mine's a bit fatter. That's fine. How many of these do you think you've made? Hundreds. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, feels pretty good. And if people want to buy these off you, can they? 
Yeah, so absolutely. Custom made. Yep, yeah, make to order. Mm -hmm. There you go, we'll have all the details below. Mm -hmm. So, once so we when get you're to all the, the way around, yeah. yeah. So, you just want to take your wire, just get a little bit of length on it, pop it underneath, but hold the long bit. Yep. Yeah. And then you just want to twist it a couple of times round, and that just secures that section. Right, so foliage. Yes. So we, um, I prefer a mix of different foliages and textures and yeah. things because it makes for a more interesting base. Mm -hmm. So we've got grevillea, um, we've got buried ivy, we've got cupris, and we've got spruce. Oh, this is buried ivy. Yep. Nice. It's got a lot of berries on there. And what's the Christmas tree one called? It's that's just a spruce. A spruce. Blue, yeah, a blue spruce. Yep. So what should we start with? All right then. First. So, let's go. I would just get. I'd be aiming for sizes, kind of like roughly about your hand, okay. your hand size. So when you're cutting your branches or out in the garden or whatever, go for that size. Clearly, that's a little bit bigger than my <laughs> a monster hand. Um, and we just layer them on top, do we? We're just going to layer them on. So get yourself three pieces. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you oh. want to lay one on the top, mm -hmm. one on the side, one on and the one on the inside, like so. Yep. And... Oh, I'll put it around this way. Yep. And then you need to come over the top uh -huh. and strap it down. I always go around twice just for some extra security. Yes. Yep. So have you got it? Yeah. Right, perfect. So, repeat. <laughs> this is quite therapeutic actually. Very relaxing. So how long do these workshops that you do normally take? Um, I, w I have a three hour slot uh, with groups of, groups of six people. Um, so it's nice and easy going, it's not too, uh, and not too long and not too quick. And they can have a little <laughs> laugh along the way. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like mine's a little bit baldy on the side there. That's all right. I can show you a sneaky trick to fill any bald patches later Brilliant. on. You love sneaky tricks. <laughs> <laughs> so you just need to keep it going all the way around. Okay. So we're just going to continue now to go all the way along. I've went a little bit. Uh, I think I've just got a bit excited here, <laughs> and I've just covered most of mine. And Victoria's halfway through, but hers is looking incredible. And mine is um, looking like it's just stepped out of the jungle. <laughs> a bit of a There's bit. no order to mine, it's <laughs> yeah. just. That's very a good thing, green. Though. So, any little bald patches, mm -hmm. you get your bit of foliage, you just need to bend your wire yep. in half. So, you've got like a two pronged thing and you oh. place it where you want it like we're pinning the hair yep right so any bits that you've missed if you've got all the way around and you found that you've missed a bit because you've been carried away <laughs> <laughs> you can just pin it down so at the back you've got your two legs that you just need to bend and push back in okay ow yeah, be careful. Be careful, it's very <laughs> sharp. So, when you've got to your joint, oh, you need to repeat what you did before when yep. you got to the end of the moss. So just hold on to a little bit of length, pop it back through, underneath. Oh. I think I need to add on there. Oh, we can add foliage in a minute, can't Yeah, we? yeah, yeah. So, this is what I did wrong before. We need right. to hold it and then... Yeah, so hold on to a bit of length, pop yep. it back under the wreath. Yep. Through the middle. And then like give it a good old tug and a twist. So it's all nice and secure. Okay. And this time, 
you're topping it off because you're finished with it. Cool. So we're ready to decorate. Now what I always do first is where you've where you've joined, there might be a little bit of a, a little bit of a gap. Mm -hmm. I always find that's a good place to put my ribbon, my ribbon bow. So I would start with that point. So decide if that's where you want it. That's going to be the bot either the bottom or the top. In this case, okay. it's going to be the bottom. Right. Okay. All right. So that means. So that where do you want your ribbon to go? Here. Yeah. Excellent. Right. So. Well. Would you advise a certain thickness or material for the ribbon? Um. Again, anything goes. So that you don't looks... need anything too sturdy. This looks like it's woven. Yeah, it's like a woven kind of hessian or a jute. So, I'll talk you through it. Right. So you want a little bit of a tail on it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd grab it there. Pinch it. Yep. 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 And then back round. So your design's always on the top. There we go. So that's what you should end up with. Now, okay. You need one of your stub wires. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then you're just going to put it, pop it around the top. Just place it over the top, round at the back, and then twist it. Do it that way. You just got a nice pretty finish. Are you happy with your shape and Yep. Yeah. I think that's looking pretty festive. Yeah, excellent. Right, so moving on to decorations. Yes. <laughs> so what I would do is um is just plan a little bit what you want where you want things to go. So I just like set some of your decorations around just to give you an, an idea of how you want it to look and where things are going to go. So this is going to really prevent you from getting too carried away and mm -hmm. looking at your design and thinking, wow, that's way off. Yeah, you don't want to start and then feel that it's not going in the right direction. Take your pine cone. Right. Wrap it around the base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then just give it a bit of a twist. You've got a nice long stem on it. Yeah. Yeah, and then just pop it in where you want it. All the way through. And grab it on the other side. Pop it back in. So your cinnamon sticks are wired up slightly differently. Uh, so you just need to take it around. I would go around, let's see, twice. And then twist. Make sure you've got a nice long stem on it mm. to go through the... Yep, and then just give it a bit of a twist together. Alright, and then you want to take your twine, because you don't want the wires showing. There you go. You. So you just want to dress the top of it. So take it around. Good few times so you hide that wire. And then just tie it at the front. You should end up with something like that. Super. All right, and then just pop it in where you want it. I have to say these smell really, really nice. It's still gonna go well with that orange that we've got in there. All right. So what do we do for oranges? So oranges, 
take them in little groups of two or three. It's quite nice. And then just pop it through. And again, just give it a bit of a twist. And then and just hide the end. Hide the end by just popping it back into the into the moss. So for baubles, how way. do we attach them? All right, just use the the little go through the middle. Yep. That part. Yep. Okay. That one. Mhm. Mm and then the same way, just twist it. All the way through, find it at the other side. Just push, pull it all the way through, and then tuck the end of your, of your wire back into your moss. Find um, it this time? I did, yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right, so the last little bit is to pop a hook in the back. So you need to take one of your stub wires. Yep. Yeah. And this stuff, this is. Um, called Stemtex. Okay. And this is going to give your wire a bit of additional grip. So what you do is you just stretch it out. It's a little oh. bit tricky this. Yep. Put it under the wire, twist, stretch. So what does this do? It just gives an extra little bit of grip to the wire. It stops it sliding out of its position. I didn't even know this stuff existed. <laughs> yeah, right, so you need to find the top of that and you need to... You're just going, you're going around it, actually. It's tricky to find. So it's you, hidden underneath all that bog moss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, so you get your two ends, you've got your little hook. Yep. Yep. And just give it a twist. Okay. And then push the ends back into the moss. So that gives you Oh wow, look at that. A nice secure. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> and that All is right. really sturdy as well. You think, oh gosh, that tiny little bit of wire because it is very thin. You think that's not gonna hold that wreath because they're quite heavy. Yeah. But it just it's so secure. Just need to sort out my bow now. Yeah. And then we can pop that straight onto the door. Yep. You don't need to mist it or anything while it's on the door. No. Nope. And that's going to last two weeks. Should do, yep. Around two weeks. <laughs> there you go. Brilliant. Um, so as I said, I'm going to leave all the details for Victoria's channel and any workshops or anything that she's holding. I'll hold all that information be below and links to her website as well. So thanks to Victoria for today and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.